morning. Hello, welcome to Jetra Yoga class. So tonight we're going to start in a lying down position. So please make your way to lie down on the yoga mat. Make yourself comfortable. Bend both knees, your spine will automatically release, keeping the natural curves in the lower back. And down by your side, palm facing down. Close your eyes for a moment. Calming the mind, setting your intention for today's class. When you inhale, your belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Staying very calm and relax in the present moment. Couple more breath here. And we're gonna slowly wake up the body by wiggling your fingers and your toes. Rotating your ankles and your wrists. Gently turning your neck left and right. Slowly come back to center. Bring your legs together, point your toes in, how your arms are up and above the head. Full body stretch. Exhale and down by your side. One more time. Inhale your arms up above the head. Point your toes. Elongate the body. Big, big stretch. Exhale and down by your side. Take a breath here. We're going to come to a banana shape. Inhale your arms up. We're going to walk the hands and feet over to the right side as far as you can go. Outside hand, grab hold the inside wrist. Inside foot on outside ankle. Forming a banana shake. Feel the length in the left side of your body. Now the entire body is still on the mat. We have a roll over. And we're going to stay here for three, two, one. Feel free to close your eyes and listen to my verbal instruction. And we're going to walk the hands and feet up over to the other side as far as you can go. Forming a banana shake. Outside hand, grab hold the inside wrist. Inside foot on outside ankle. Feel the length in the right side of your body. Now the entire body is still on the mat. We have a roll over. Continue to close your eyes and listen to my verbal instruction. Couple more breaths here. I'm going to walk the hands back to the center of the mat and down by your side. Bend both knees. Grab your arms around your knees, rocking side to side. Coming into a big circular motion, if you like, covering a big area. Massage your lower back and sacrum. Two more breaths. And then we're going to reverse the rotation. Go the other way, rocking side to side. Now we're gonna slowly, slowly come back to center. Hug your knee into your chest, make yourself into a ball. If you like, you lift the head chest up, head to knee, squeeze. Massage your internal organs. And we're gonna stay here for four, three, Two, one, slowly release the head down. Lift your feet up to the sky, coming into a happy baby. Hands on the bottom of your feet, press down so that the knees are close to the armpits, rocking side to side, massaging the entire spine and entire back, opening up hip joints. Happy baby also help people to relieve back pain. Open up your legs in a big V and continue to rock side to side, touching down on the floor if you like. Opening up the hip joint, stretching our inner thighs. Slowly 
Slowly come back to center. Bring the legs together, hands behind the kneecap, flex the feet. Let the blood circulate back to your heart, improving your immunity. Energize the body. And we're gonna let the blood circulate back to our heart for a few more breaths as we stretch out the hamstring. Improve your digestion, sleep quality. And we're gonna stay here for four, three, two, and one. We're gonna slide the hand further up the leg, we'll grab a hold of the big toe. Lifting the head, chest up. Tailbone is automatically comes off. Engage your arms. Not carrying tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. One more breath, and we're going to slowly release the head down. And down by your side. Doing three rounds of leg lift. First round, lower down for seven, six, five. Four, three, two, when your legs are one feet off the ground, bend both knees, lifting the legs back up to the sky. Take a breath here. Second round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, don't drop it, bend both knees, lifting the legs back up to the sky. Last round, lower down for seven, Six, five, four, three, two. When your legs are one feet off the ground, just stay here. Engage the core abdominal muscles. So squeeze your stomach in tight. Your quarters up, your thighs are tight. So we're going to continue to strengthen the abdominal muscles and the quarters up. Try your best. Feel the burn. We're going to stay here for five. Four, three, two, one. Slowly release everything down. Bounce it a few times. Bend both knees. We're going to go into the bridge pose. Your knees are two fists apart. Don't open up too much. Walk the heel close to your fingertips. If you have a yoga block, squeeze your block. Press firmly on the mat. On the inhale, we're going to lift the hips high, high up, forming a bridge. Roll the shoulder in underneath your bridge. Interlace the fingers. Pull the knuckles towards the heels. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Your quarters up and your glutes are firm. So in other words, squeeze your stomach in tight. Your thighs and your butt are firm, but not to the point of cramping. Coming up on your tippy toes, so lifting the hips even higher. All the way is in the shoulder, very little weight in the head and neck. Chain is almost touching the chest. Release the hands from underneath your bridge. Inhale your arms up and over, fingernails on the floor. Keeping your hips high, high up. And we're going to stay here for five, four, three, two. While slowly release the arm back down by your side. Release the heel back down. One vertebra at a time, release the spine back down. Once you come all the way down, remove your block, windshield wiper, dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it fall. Hips can come off. Knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Hip release. Now we're going to slowly come back to center, open up the knees and drop them to the right side. Walking the left foot outside of the mat if it is accessible. Left hand on left ankle. Now you can stay here, make sure the left butt stay down. You can feel the stretch here. Left quarter up, hip joint. You adjust the angle to suit your knees. For those who need more intensive stretch, outside foot on inside thigh. Dragging it a little bit closer. Shoulder, shoulder blades are still off the mat. Now don't worry about crossing the foot over. If you find that this is causing you a whole lot of pain and discomfort. 
staying here for three, two, one, slowly come back to center. Take an inhale to center, exhale, drop both knee to the other side. Let it fall, right where it fall. Walking the right foot outside the mat if it is accessible. Make sure the right butt stay down. Now you should feel the stretch here, right foot to stop hip joint. You adjust the angle to suit your knees. For those who need more intensive stretch, outside foot on inside thigh, dragging it a little bit closer. Now this is causing you a whole lot of pain and discomfort. You don't have to cross the outside foot over. So make sure you know the difference between the sensation of pain and stretch. Pain is no good. Stretch is good. One more breath and we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Coming back to center, waste your wiper a few more times. So feel free to close your eyes and continue to listen to my verbal instruction. Instead of popping your head up to see what I'm doing. Now we're gonna slowly come back to center. Going into a figure four, right foot on left thigh. Flexing the right foot will protect the right knee. Loop the hand through the opening, grab behind the left thigh. Right elbow push the right thigh out. You're gonna immediately feel the stretch here, right hip flexor, opening up the right hip joint. Helping people to relieve sciatica condition. You can stay here. If you like, you can lift the hand, chest up, head to knees, squeeze. Now, if this is too intensive for you, don't worry about lifting the hand, chest up. Continue to lie down on your mat. And we're going to stay here for four, three, two, one. Slowly release the head and the foot down. Repeat figure four on the other side, opposite angle, opposite thigh. Flexing the foot will protect the knee. Lift the hand through the opening, grab behind the right thigh. Left elbow, push the left thigh out. Now beginning can stay here. For those who need more intensive stretch, lifting the hand, chest up, head to knee. And you're gonna immediately feel the stretch here. Left hip flexor, opening up the left hip joint, helping people with sciatica condition. However, if you have severe sciatica condition, you should be seeking professional medical help to get diagnosis and treatment. Make sure you're not carrying tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. Now we're gonna slowly release. And we're gonna windshield wiper a few more times. So figure four is the modification of pigeon. If we were to do mat yoga. Slowly come back to center. Strain down the legs, bounce it a few times. When releasing on the right side, grab your hands around the right knee, point the left toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, relax the grip, exhale, squeeze. Massaging organs on the right side of your body, as well as ascending colon. So all lying down poses, we are slightly tucking the chin in to protect your neck, keeping your neck and your spine in one straight line. Now we're gonna to continue to gently pump this a few times. Continue to massage our organs on the right side, as well as ascending forward. Right hand on right knee, using a gentle circular motion. Massaging the right hip joint. Five times one way, five times reverse. Opening up the hip joint. Slowly come back to center. We're gonna go into spinal twist. Right foot on left thigh. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Right arm out shoulder. Palm facing down. Slowly guide the top knee. As close to the floor as possible. Shoulder and shoulder blades are still on the mat. Turn and look at the right side, your neck is good. Stretch, strengthen and tone the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. We're gonna stay here for a little bit longer. 
We're going to count down from four, three, two, one, slowly bring the body back to the center, straighten up the legs, bounce it a few times. Repeat when releasing on the left side. Rub your hands around the left knee. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, relax the grip, exhale, squeeze. Massaging our legs on the left side of the body as well as descending, holding. Anytime you feel bloated in your abdomen, constipated, you can try this method and see if it brings you any relief. Slowly, come back to center, left hand on left knee, using a gentle circular motion, massaging the left hip joint. Five times one way, five times reverse. Now we're gonna slowly come back to center, transitioning into a spinal twist, left foot on right thigh, Using the right hand, gently guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Left arm out, shoulder height, palm facing down. Feel free to extend the top leg if you have room. Look here, the left side if your neck is stiff. Stretching our lower back muscles, creating spaces between L4 and L5. We're gonna stay here. For four, three, two, one, slowly, slowly, bring the body back to the center. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. We're gonna slowly bring the right leg up to the sky using abdominal muscles. Hands behind the right kneecap, point and flex the right foot. Draw a circle in the sky. Five times one way, five times reverse. Strengthening the ankle joint so it's not so easy to slip and fall and twist your ankle. Sliding the hand further up the leg. Oh, grab hold the big toes. Hamstring stretch. Lifting the hand chest up, head to knee. As long as you feel the stretch here, hamstring is good to go. No need to overstretch the core hamstring. One more breath, and we're going to slowly release the head down. I'm down by your side. Nice and slow, with control. We're going to release the right leg back down on the mat. Once you've come all the way down, bounce it a few times. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Slowly lift the left leg up using abdominal muscles. Hands behind the left knee cap. Point and flex the left foot. Both legs are working. Now we're going to draw a circle in the sky. Increase flexibility. Mobility, reduce swellness in your ankle joint. And we're going to go the other way. Sliding the hand further up the leg will grab a hold of the back toe. Lifting the hand chest up, head to knee, hamstring stretch. And this is where you will feel the stretch. Feel free to use your yoga strap to help you get into the alignment. Not carrying tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. Now we're going to slowly release the head down. I'm down by your side. Nice and slow with control. We're going to slowly release the top leg back down on the mat. Once you come all the way down, bounce it a few times. And we're going to get ready to come up. So bend both knees. Drop them to the right side, raise your right arm. Roll over to the right side, making a pillow with the right tricep. 
coming into a fetus position. Let your blood pressure get adjusted. And when you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up, coming into a comfortable seated position to face the front. Feel free to sit on your folded blanket or towels or cushion. Make yourself comfortable. If you are not able to sit cross-legged, just feel free to sit in any way. You can even sit straight leg. Shoulders relax down from the ears, stomach and chest proud. Close your eyes for a moment, taking a few calming breath, bringing awareness that you have arrived on your yoga mat. We're gonna inhale the arms up, turn the palm up, exhale down. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, come down. Two more times, inhale your arms up, lengthening the spine, exhale down. One last one, inhale your arms up, tall and long, exhale down. Hands on your thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Stretching out the neck next, ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head. Lengthening, stretch. Release any tension that you may have at the side of your neck. And we're gonna stay here for three, two, one. Slowly come back to center, the other side. You to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head. Stretch, no need to rush. In this class, always listen to your body to avoid injury. Now we're gonna slowly bring the head back to the center. Take a breath here. Neck rotation, either full circle or half circle. Nice and slow, with control, without making yourself dizzy. When you're ready, we're gonna go into a full circle. If there's any clicking sound in your neck, just stay there for a little bit longer. Try not to make yourself dizzy by going too fast. And then we're gonna change direction. Go the other way. Half circle first. Loosen up. And when you're ready, we're gonna go into a full circle. Nice and slow with control. And we're going to slowly come back to center to release. Take an inhale to center, exhale turn over the, the right shoulder. So my left is your right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the other side. Only go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, center. Chin up, head back. And then chin to chest. Both ways with stimulating thigh work. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Only go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Slowly come back to center. Chin up, head back. And then chin to chest. Inhale, center. Exhale, right armpit. Slightly tuck the chin in. 45 degree angle. And we're gonna stay here for three, two, one. Slowly come back to center. Take an inhale first. Exhale, look at the other armpit. Slightly tuck the chin in. 45 degree angle. And we're gonna stay here for a few more breaths. Slowly come back to center to release. Shoulder stretch, right arm up and across. Pull back, creating resistance. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Slowly release. Same arm up, lengthen first. Place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow. Tricep stretch. Chin up. Eyes looking forward. 
Those who can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, binding hands behind your back. And we're gonna slowly release, shake it up. The other side, shoulder stretch up, up and across. Pull back, craving resistance. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. And release. Same arm up, we lengthen first. Place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide that tricep stretch. The more advanced student, more flexible people, if you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bringing the fingers close together to bind hands. Don't worry if you're not able to do this. Slowly work towards bringing the fingers together. And slowly release, shake it out. Hands on the shoulders, elbows in, elbows up. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces in your shoulder blade. Shine the chest up. Opening up lung heart chest. Improving your posture. When you're in the center position, we're gonna go into a full circle. Try to bring the elbows close together. Oiling the shoulder joint. And when you're in the center position, we're gonna go the other way. Reverse. Slowly come back to center. Hands in the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. And we're gonna to go to torso turn. So starting out with small circle. Gradually, do a deeper and deeper torso turn. Moving your shoulders as well. Warming up the spine. When you're in the center position, we're gonna go the other way. Reverse, touching all four corner of your space. Slowly come back to center. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale to bow down. Walking the fingers forward. Elbows off the mat. Chin is away from the body. Neck and spine in one straight line. Lengthening the spine. One more breath. And we're going to walk the hands over to the right side as far as you can go. Feel the length in the right side of your body. Slowly walk the hands over to the other side, as far as you can go. Feel the length in the left side of your body. Keeping your neck and your spine in one straight line. Slowly walking the hands back towards you. Take a breath here. We're going to come to a side bend. Inhale your arms up, lengthening the spine. Exhale, bend towards the right side. Bending the lower arm, top arm is pressing in. Looking up, feel the length in the side of your body. One more breath. Slowly come back to center. We're going to lengthen the center. Exhale to the other side. Bending the lower arm, top arm is a crescent moon. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Slowly come back to center. We lengthen the center, exhale, twist. Give yourself a hug. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Wrap the back arm around your waist. If your neck is okay, turn a little bit about. Stretch your lower back muscles. Massage your internal organs helping you to digest and detox. Inhale your arms up, lengthening. Exhale, twist. Give yourself a hug. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Wrap the back arm around your waist. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder. Look here at the back, turning the neck as well. Now we're gonna slowly come back to center, lengthening the spine in the center. Exhale, twist. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. 
Back hand is behind your spine. Don't lean back too much. Using the front hand to help you turn a little bit more. Turning the neck as well. Continue to massage internal organs. Arches in position help you to relieve back pain. Now we will slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the Adama. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release the other side. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine and wrap around your waist. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder. Locate the back. Turning the neck as well. And we're gonna stay here for five, four, three, two, one, slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on your thighs. Take a breath here. And we're going to slowly transition to come to a neutral tabletop. Now, if you need knee support, place your knee on top of the blanket. Spread all your fingers, wrists underneath the shoulder, knees underneath the hip, top of the feet on the mat, neutral spine. When you're ready, inhale, drop your belly, chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, round the back as much as you can. Pull your belly tight, looking down into a cat. So we're going to do this a few times. Take your own breath in and face. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movements. Creating spaces between vertebrae. Two more times. One last one. Slowly come back to center, swaying side to side, release tension in your wrist. We're going to come to a big figure eight, sink the hip down onto the hips. Exaggerate your movement, swaying the hip up. When you're at the top of the mat, go to opposite corner of the mat. Continue. Feel your spine moving, creating spaces between water rays, helping you to relieve back pain. When you're in the center position, we're going to go the other way. Reverse, big, big figure eight. Sing the hip down onto the heels. Now we slowly come back to center, sway side to side. Come into arm balance, right arm and left leg out, right thumb to the sky, back toes down, one straight line. Engage your core abdominal muscles, squeeze your stomach in tight, looking forward, one straight line. I'm going to hold it here for three, two, one, slowly, slowly release. And we're going to sway side to side again. And repeat on the other side. Left arm and right leg out. Left arm to the sky, back toes down, lengthening, core strong. Neck is fine in one straight line. Staying here for three, two, one, slowly, slowly release. And we're going to sway side to side again. Sit back into a child pose. Release any tension that you may have in your wrist. Try to sit back as much as you can. If you have very tight ankle, tight hip, you are not able to come down. Rest your forehead on stack hand, stack fist, or on your yoga block. So feel free to use prop or bring prop to class. Block is three different height. This is the highest. This is the second level, and this is the third level. 
Try to sit back as much as you can. Lengthening the spine, massage internal organs, calming the mind for a moment, massaging the third eye. Staying here for three, two, one, slowly, slowly release. If you have a block, remove your block. And we're going to continue to refine our salutation. So we're going to work towards the chaturanga. So I'm going to do a knee down version for the newer people. Elbow by your side. So we're not flaring the elbows up. So remember, chicken weights, wrist underneath the shoulder. When you're ready, we're going to lower down two inches at a time. Inhale, slide up to cobra, which is modification, or up dog. Shoulders relax, eyes looking up. Exhale, sit back into a child pose. And then we're going to repeat this motion. Inhale, come forward. A modified plank, chaturanga, all the way down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, sit back into your child pose. Two more times. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, lower down. One continuous motion. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, step back into the child pose. One last one. Inhale, come forward. Lower down, two inches at a time. Elbows lower than the shoulder. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, to child pose. Now we're gonna get ready to come up. So I'm gonna remove my blanket. I'll meet you in down dog. Spread all your fingers, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. And we're going to come to a down dog. In this position, we're going to stay for five breaths. If you have a very tight hamstring, feel free to slightly bend the knees. This is totally acceptable. Upside down, let it be. Feel free to walk the dog out by alternating bending your knees, like mountain climbing. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly walk forward towards the hands. And now we're in a forward bend. All 10 toes facing the front, legs are hipward. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows or behind the legs. Hip bones above ankle bones. Now sticking the butt out as we lengthen the spine, stretching our lower back muscles. Stretching our hamstrings, hip joint, let the blood circulate back to your heart. Just be mindful that head is below heart, so if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out of this. Gently shake yes with the head. Gently shake no with the head. Swing side to side, hip movement. One more breath. We're gonna get ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale, to slowly, slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Rise up to standing. Once you've come all the way up, we're gonna go back bend to counter. So interlace the finger behind. Knuckles down and away from you. We're not pushing the hip forward. Shoulders and hips are level. Chin is away from the body. Feel the pain to your shoulder blades. Improving your posture. Opening up the lung, heart, chest. Helping people with breathing related issues. Stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up and head back. Staying here for three, two, one. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. And we're gonna to come to sun salutation. So we're gonna to continue to practice the sun salutation A. So when you're ready, 
top of the mat, big toes to touch, heels slightly apart. Align the edge of your feet to the edge of the mat. Listen to your body always to avoid injury. Inhale your arms up, back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Hands on shin, eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on mat. Step or hop back into a plank. Shifting the way forward. Beginners can drop your knees. Tuck your elbow by your side and then. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Shoulders relax, eyes looking up. Exhale. Tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. We're staying here for five breaths. Spread out your fingers. Bend our index finger facing forward. Step with your feet, two fists apart. Not too wide, not too narrow. Align the ears by your inner arms. Feel free to walk the dog out by alternating, bending your knees like mountain climbing. Now we look between the hands, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale halfway up to flat back. Exhale forward bend, slightly bend the knees. Inhale your arms all the way up, back bend, and then I'm down by your side in the mountain pose. Continue. Inhale your arms up, upper salute, back bend. Exhale forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale, hands on mat. Step on our back into a plank. Shifting the way forward. Now don't flop down. Chicken wings, elbow tuck by your side. Control your movement to come down. Inhale, cobra is modification or up dog. Shoulders relax, eyes looking up. Exhale, forward on the knees, tuck your toes. Lift the hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. Shoulders are external rotation. Elbows are internal rotation. Eye of the elbow facing each other. Now we look between the hand. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale halfway up to flat back. Exhale forward bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale your arms all the way up. Back bend. And then I'm down by your side into a mountain pose. Tall and strong in mountain. One last set. Inhale your arms up, other salute. Back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale, hands on mat. Step or hop back into a plank. Shifting the weight forward. Anytime you need modification, drop your knees. Tuck your elbow. Chicken wings to come down. Inhale, cobra is modification or up dog. Shoulders relax, eyes looking up. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog, upside down, let it be. Shifting half of the weight towards the legs to minimize impact on the wrist. Now, if you have a mat that is very slippery, you would be slipping away. But try to choose a mat that is very sticky and doesn't slip and slide all over the place. Now we look between the hands, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale halfway up the flat back. Exhale forward bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale your arms all the way up. Back bend. And then I'm down by your side. Into your mountain pose. So we're staying in mountain pose, tall and strong here. Legs are hip width apart, arm by your side, palm facing forward, soft knees, don't lock your knees, close your eyes. Slowing down the heartbeat. Feel free to sway forward, back, or side to side. Now we're gonna make a fist. Inhale, shoulders up to your ears, make it tight, tight, tight. Oh, sign it out to release. Again, inhale your shoulders up, creating a lot of tension. Exhale, let it go. Two more times. Inhale your shoulders up. Exhale to release. One last one. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, let go. Shake it out. 
And here we're going to do some balance poses. Have a sip of water if needed. Now a lot of students say that when they're balancing, they're shaky. So feel free to hold on to a wall or a chair. So here, I'm going to ground into my right foot. Heel down first, spread the toes, grab the mat, sing the big toe down. So we're going to shift the weight to the standing leg. We're going to bring up the other knee, flex the foot, turn the knee out to the side of the room. Look at the opposite side for balance. So now I'm holding to the wall to keep balance. Those who have good balance, you can place the hand on the thigh, just like me. So by holding onto a wall or a chair for support, engage your core abdominal muscles, looking at a point on the floor or at the horizon, something that doesn't move, that will help you with balancing. Now we're gonna slowly bring this knee back to the center, hands on waist, extend the leg, point the toes up to the ceiling. And we're gonna stay here for three, Two, one, kick it out, two, release. Very good, shake it out, alternating, bending your knees. Now we go to the other side. So we're gonna shift the weight to the standing leg. Heel down first, spread the toes, grab the mat, sing the big toe down, shift the weight to the standing leg. And we're gonna bring up the other knee, flex the foot. Hand resting here. The other hand can be chin moja. If you find that you're shaking, hold on to the wall. And we're going to stay here for three, two, one. Slowly bring the knee back to center. Hands on waist, extend the leg. Point your toes up to the ceiling. And stay here for three, two, one. Kick it out, two, release. Alternating, bending your knees. Coming into three pose. So my left is to right. All four corners of your foot, press down. Regardless of whether you're high arch, or flat feet. Shift the weight to the standing leg. Bring the knee out the knee onto the side of the knee. Toe down, calf, thigh up, lotus or hook behind, anywhere but the knee joint. Bring your hands to heart center. Press the palm together. Take an inhale first. Exhale, grow your tree. From little tree to grow up to be big tree. Take another inhale. Exhale, open up your branches. Chin mudra, fingers again if you like. Shoulders relax down from your knees. Stomach and chest proud, digging the, ankle, uh, the heel into the standing leg, standing leg pushing the heel back. One more breath, and we're going to slowly bring the hands together to release, shake it up, alternating, bending your knees. And we're going to repeat on the other side, all four corners is pressed down. Shift the weight to the standing leg, turn the other knee out to the side of the roof. Toe down, calf, thigh, half lotus, hook behind, anywhere but the knee joint. Bring your hands to heart center, press the palm together. Inhale first, exhale, rise up, lengthen your spine. Inhale, exhale, open up the branches. Shoulders are relaxed, stomach and chest proud. Looking at your focal point, eyes looking a point on the floor or at the horizon. If you want to challenge yourself, look up at the sky or close your eyes. Feel the energy within you. Tall and strong like a tree. Staying here for three, two, one. Slowly bring the hands together. Two, release. Very good. And we're going to come back to seated. Bring your sole of your feet together, wrap your hands around your ankle, sitting up nice and tall, rocking side to side, finding your sitting bones. Fly like a butterfly, flap about 10 times, opening up hip joint. Draw the heel close to you, grab a hold of the big toe of the entire feet. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, hinging forward, leading with the chest. Bring the elbows on the other side of the shin. Chairs away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine straight. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Bring the elbows on the other side of the shin. 
Now we're opening up the hip joints, stretching over in the thighs. Now just be mindful that we're not doing head to feet. So always remember not carrying tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly coming back up. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Get the flesh apart out from your butt. Point your toes up to the ceiling, hands by your side, sitting up nice and tall. Start pose. Shoulders are relaxed. And we're going to get ready for double leg forward bend. Inhale your arms up to lift. Exhale, we hinge forward, leading with the chest. Grow longer. Holding on to any part of the foot, the legs. Release the hands on either side. Feel free to use your yoga strap to help you get into the alignment. Now, we're not yanking ourselves to come down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinging forward, leading with the chest. Neck is long, spine is straight. So we're not going to have to knee. The entire unit has to come down. So come down, stomach first. Looking at your toes. One more breath. Slowly, slowly come back up. Come into one leg forward bend. My left is your right. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Inhale your arms up, lengthening. Exhale, hinge. Grow longer. Holding onto and from the foot, the legs. Release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body. Eyes and feet forward. When you come down, stomach come down first. Chest, head is relaxed. So inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. One more breath, slowly, slowly come back up. Come in to see the twist. Bring the back on the outside of the straight leg. Advanced student, feel free to bring the bottom leg. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to your body. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Don't lean back too much. Overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back. Turning the neck as well. As we stretch our lower back muscles, Massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. And we're going to stay here for four, three, two, one. Slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist, bending now. There's more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back and oblique, the side of the body. One more breath, slowly, slowly pushing yourself back up. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Repeat one leg forward then on the other side. So we're gonna get the flesh apart out from your butt, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale your arms up, lengthening. Exhale, we hinge, leading with the chest. Holding onto the foot, the legs, release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. And when you come down, stomach come down first, chest, that is the last thing. Lengthening, stretch. Now there's gonna be a point that you can't go anymore and you have reached your limit, your boundary. One more breath. And we're gonna slowly, Slowly coming back up. Coming into seated twist. Bring the belly on the outside of the straight leg. Now begin to stay here. Those who can bend the bottom leg, go ahead. Now make sure both butts are sitting down. If this is too tight, straighten out the bottom leg. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine or wrap around the waist. Front hand can be stop sign hand. Pray your hands. Any variation you like, keep turning. Overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back. 
turning the neck as well. So all twisting position help you to digest and detox, helping you to relieve back pain. And we're gonna stay here for three, two, one, slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist, bending the elbow, more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back and oblique, the side of your body. And make sure the front foot is on the mat. So that's the side you're going to. One more breath. And we're gonna slowly bring the body back to the center. Strain on the legs. Bounce it a few times. Keep your knees bent. Wrap your hands around your knees. Make yourself small. Inhale, chin up, pepper. Exhale, chin to chest. So we're gonna do this a few more times. Both ways we're stimulating thyroid gland. Release tension at the back of your neck. Decompressing the spine. Creating spaces between C2 and C7. One last one. Slowly come back to center. I'm gonna come back to a comfortable seated position, coming into wrist rotation. Reverse the rotation. Forward, backwards, backing dog. Wrist exercise. Change light box. Give it a shake, very gently. Shake, shake, shake. Give yourself a big, big hug. Love yourself always. Wrap your arms around yourself. Place the finger on your shoulder blade. Now you can stay here. If you can lock the elbows, back up the hands together, bottom hand come over, grab hold the thumb, lift the elbows up and away from the body, form an L shape. Ye go arm. And we're gonna stay here for three, two, one, slowly, slowly release. Big, big hug on the other side. Wrap the other arms on top. You can stay here. You can lock the elbows, grab a hold of the thumb. You end up with the thumb facing your nose. Lift the elbows up and away from the body, forming an L shape. Feel the tightness in your shoulder blade. And we're going to stay here for three, two, one. Slowly, slowly release. Interlace the finger. Surrender. Place it behind your head. Gently pull forward. Once again, we relieve tension at the back of your neck. Stay here for a few more breaths. And slowly, slowly release. And we'll come to the end of the class. So bring your hands to heart center. Taking our three final closing breath here. Inhale to bring the arms forward. Exhale to open up nice and slow, gathering energy from each other. Inhale your arms up above the head, palm touch. Exhale down, sending the energy back to you. Again, inhale, arms forward. Exhale to open. Inhale the arms up, exhale down. One last one. Inhale your arms forward. Exhale to open. Feel the tingling and warm in your palms. Inhale your arms all the way up, palm touch. Exhale down. To close the practice, we'll bring the thumb to the third eye or in front of your heart. Thank you very much for joining us, sharing your positive energy with all of us and letting me guide you through this practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.